direct proportion direct proportion means if one item or quantity increases the other increases if one decreases the other also decreases that is direct proportion here we can see an example if cost of 24 oranges rupees 72 then find the cost of 120 oranges so the number of oranges at first it's 24 and when it's 24 the cost is rupees 72 and what about the cost of 120 oranges that's the question so here if we see the number of oranges increased from 24 it becomes 120 so if the number of oranges increased then the cost required to buy those oranges increases so one increase the other also increases this is direct proportion and to solve direct proportion questions we have to do cross multiplication so let's do cross multiplication to find this unknown 24 then into this unknown let's take this unknown as x then 72 into 120 so to find this unknown let's move this 24 to the right hand side this comes down as division then do cancellation 24 fives are it's 120 then 72 into 5 it's 360 so the cost of 120 oranges is rupees 360 this is direct proportion example. Let's see what is indirect proportion. Indirect proportion means if one item increases, then other decreases. If one decreases, the other increases. It's opposite. Let's see an example. If four people can paint a fence in three hours, then how long it will take for six people to paint it? So here, when the number of people is 4, the time taken for them to finish the work is 3 hours. When the number of people increased from 4 to 6, it is increased. Number of people increased. So the time taken to complete the work will fit, uh, decrease. Right? So here, the time taken will decrease. So if one increases, the other decreases. This is indirect proportion. To solve indirect proportion, we have to do straight multiplication. Here we did cross, here we have to do straight multiplication. So here 4 into 3 is equal to 6 into this unknown. This unknown, let's take it as x. So we are doing straight multiplication. Next, let's move the 6 to this left hand side and it move, it comes down as division. Then cancel it, 3 ones are 3, 2 are 6, then 2 2 are 4. So, x is 2 means that 6 people take 2 hours to complete the painting work. So, when one quantity increases, the other also increases at the same rate. This is direct proportion. To solve direct proportion, we have to do cross multiplication. In direct is when one increases, the other decreases. Opposite. So, to solve in direct proportion, we have to do straight multiplication. Five fishermen catch five fish in five minutes. So the fisherman, when it is five, number of cat, uh, fish is five, and the time taken for them to catch five fish is five minutes. Then how many minutes will it take for 50 fishermen to catch 50 fish? We have to find the time. To solve this question, we have to find whether it is direct or indi indirect proportion. So to solve this, let's take the unknown thing. Here unknown thing comes in time. So this unknown uh, value, let's take this as 5 and divided by this x, question mark as x. So let's write this unknown one first, then equal to coming to the known. Here we have to check what is the relation between these two, fisherman and fish, direct or indirect. That's what we have to find first. So here, the, when the number of fishermen increases, the fish they catch, that also increase. Right? So when the fisherman increases, the number of fishes they catch, that also increase. So this is direct proportion. To solve direct proportion, we have to do cross multiplication. So let's do cross multiplication. 5 into 50 divided by this one, 50 into 5. Then cancel it. So 50, 50, 5, 5 cancel. So right hand side becomes 1. So 5 divided by x is 1 means that x is 5. So 50 
fisherman can catch 50 fish in 5 minutes. The answer is 5 minutes. Next, let's do this one here. 5 ducks, 5 ducks catch 5 fish in 5 minutes. So 5 ducks, 5 fish in 5 minutes. Then how many fishes can catch up? Then how many fishes do 50 ducks catch in 50 minutes? So ducks increased. Time also increased. We have to find how many fishes they catch in 15 minutes. So here the unknown thing is this fish. So let's take this unknown. 5 divided by unknown as x. Equal to. Let's find the relationship between the ducks and the time. When the number of ducks increased. The time taken to catch the fish decreases. Right. When the number of ducks increases, they will catch more fish in less time. So, time decreases. It's a thing. When the number of ducks increased, they will catch more fish. And the time taken for them to catch the fish is decreased. Decreases. So, this is indirect proportion. To solve indirect proportion, we have to do straight multiplication. So, here... Between 5 and 5, this one we have to do straight multiplication. 5 into 5 divided by here 50 into 50. So here it's the relationship between ducks and the time taken is indirect. So we are doing straight multiplication. 5 into 5, then 50 into 50. So now let's cancel this. It's 10 times, then 10 times. So now 5 into, let's move this 10 and 10, this side. So it comes at, divided by x goes here. So 5 into this one and x goes here. So 5 into 10, 50 into uh, 10, it's 500. So x is 500. It means that 50 ducks catch 500 fish in 50 minutes. If two men catch two fish in two minutes, at this rate, how many men would catch 500 fish in 500 minutes? That's the question. So here, the missing value is the men. How many men? So let's take this one, the number of men as uh, this one as 2 divided by x. Then we have to find the relationship between these two, whether it's direct or indirect. So when the fish... The number of fish they caught increases. The time taken for them to catch the fish also increases. That's the thing, right? So if the number of fish increased, the number of fishes they catch increased, time taken for the men to catch those fishes, that also increases. So this is direct proportion. To solve direct proportion, we have to do cross multiplication. So let's do cross multiplication. Take these two and do cross multiplication. 2 into 500. Then this is 2 into 500. Then cancel it. So it's 1. So this is x. Is. Let's move this x. 2. So it means that 2 men catches 500 fishes in 500 minutes. So what we have to do to solve these type of problems. Let's list out the 3 different things. And then find out which one is missing. Whatever miss, misses in this, we can find it out. So let's take the missing one, unknown one, this one and like the 2 divided by x. And we have to find the relationship between these two, whether it's direct or indirect. From the known things, we have to find whether it is direct or indirect. If it is direct, we have to do cross multiplication. And if it is indirect, we have to do straight multiplication. And then we, will, we have to do like normal simplification to get the answer. 